What's up, everybody? It's Julian. Today, I'm excited to bring you something I haven't seen on YouTube before. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this blooper here sent over to me by the good folks at Chase Bliss Audio. Thank you very much, Joel, and the whole team for sending this over. You guys always get me right, and I really appreciate it. I've worked through this for a little bit now, and I've learned how to use it. And we're going to be using it to create some future garage. It's going to be super cool. This thing is like a magic textural box. You can really do a lot with it, and I think it's going to help us to create some really cool textured loops for future garage we're going to build something with the pedal then we're going to take it into ableton we're going to work with it and make it a full track we're going to build bass drums all that around it and you're going to be right here for the ride you can already get the template that i'm about to create in this video at the top of the description on my website you already heard it in the intro so definitely go ahead grab that so you can build your own future garage track thank you again so much to chase bliss for sending this out thank you guys for supporting me always so we can do great stuff like this and let's get started. So you can see I've already got Ableton going and we got that going out from the pedal board into here. So let's get to creating a loop. All right, so we're gonna start out here. We're gonna hit record on the loop and we're gonna put some chords down and then I'll put down a few melodies and we'll start to work with it inside of the blooper. So you can really hear now like how we're creating layers with the blooper and even the layers will start to go over top of each other and still be really cool. So let's do like one more and then I'll start to play with the pedal. Alright, so now we can get into the modifiers here, like... Now we can start to get into these modifiers. And there's a cool loop to fit right on top, you know? We can even make some leads by just... And then to stop the loop, you just press both of them. And there we go. Let's chop it up. Alright, so let's start by finding that main loop. Take that, go to like 137 BPM. And so you can find like cool timings with this that just sort of happen. There's one sample. There we go, it's warped a little better. Let's grab some of that stuff from the end. Okay, let's grab that, and we'll grab that one as well. Now, a big part of this is being really decisive too. You gotta know like 
when to just delete most of it and just keep like these parts, right? Like these are the best parts to me. So let's start chopping these a bit rhythmically. Maybe we'll grab like just some pieces, right? And do like this. So now we have that kind of moving. And then we can duplicate this. And maybe what we'll do is we'll keep that same pattern, but move it over a little bit and just hit reverse. I literally just hit R on the keyboard. And now we have a sick pattern. Let's put a little bit of reverb on those and like a high pass filter and they'll just kind of be like these washes. And let's try pitching this stuff down a little bit as well. The original key was A minor, so we're gonna go G sharp, G, F sharp, F minor. Yeah, that sounds really cool. All right, it's time to start building a track. So we're gonna start with making a nice re-space. Gonna get wavetable here, and we get saw, another saw, detune them, low pass, unison. All right, and then let's group that with the same thing, right? But we're gonna have no unison. All right, so now we got a nice re-space. Let's do a little bit of amp to just give it some texture. Like that, it sounds very cool. All right, let's do something with those notes. So, I'm gonna kind of build a progression with this too. Where is it? So you can hear that is all in key and it makes a really nice bass line. Let's do just a little bit of a sub cut. You guys know how I like that. All right, let's put some drums in this. That was quick, that sounds really cool. So there we are, you see, if you start with some really good inspiration here, 
you can end up with a really cool beat. Let's master it a little bit, you know, just put a little bit of an EQ cut at 20 and then a cut at 20 kilohertz. There we go. A little bit of a limiter. And there we are, very quickly with the blooper, we're able to create some really cool Future Garage. So there it is, that is how you make Future Garage using guitar pedals. Thank you very much to Chase Bliss for sending over the blooper, and thank you to Teenage Engineering for sending over the OP-1, which I used for this as well. Really appreciate it, gonna have the links to all that in the description. Definitely go grab both of these pieces of gear. The blooper, I promise, will take your production to the next level, it really helps bring your sounds to life and give you some new textures to work with. You can get this full template at the top of the description on my website so you can work with it as well link is right there thanks for the support everybody and i'll see you tomorrow with another video